So I just got out from seeing Deadpool and Wolverine early for a midnight screening. And we're going to talk about it. I'm going to keep this as short as possible, really. No spoilers, of course. Um, it is currently uh, quarter past three in the morning, so I'm going to keep my voice down a little bit. Um, but I was very excited about this film. I enjoyed the trailers. Obviously, visually, I knew it was not going to be anything special. Um, can confirm my suspicions were right. The The visuals aren't great. That's definitely my biggest criticism of the film um, are with the visuals. I think the directing is actually quite strong, but again, let down a lot by the visuals. There's a lot of great visuals out there. There's some great camera work. I mean, obviously, cinematography is both camera work and what's in the frame. Um, so cinematography, it worked, but there were a few moments I was kind of like, did they forget to colour grade? Because I, th I think they did. Um, but no, let's talk about Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, I had uh, an absolute blast and probably one of my favourite experiences in the cinema. Genuinely, I, I'm not someone who's going to turn over or bend over for, for Marvel. Um, I do love the Marvel films, but as you guys know, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I do like obscure stuff, proper film stuff, if you want to call it that. You know, um, if a superhero film ain't great, but it has fun little cameos or whatever... I'll say, yeah, it's not great, but, you know, fun moments. Deadpool and Wolverine, I had an absolute blast. Absolutely loved it. Again, the visuals are very weak. I think the story, yeah, kind of loses itself a little bit. I really enjoyed Emma Corrin as the villain. However, I did start to kind of get a little bit confused near the end, like, what are her motives again? Um, but I'm sure after a rewatch, I'll probably be like, oh, sorry, I don't know how I missed that. The jokes, for the most part, all of them hit. I really enjoyed... Um, all the dynamics between many characters, again, no spoilers, but my god, you've got to be careful on Twitter. Please, don't stay off Twitter. There's a, there's a lot to spoil. Um, but yeah, no, I had an absolute blast. Loved it from start to finish. Um, maybe my favourite Deadpool, great action sequences. Um... Great emotional core. I definitely think that with the first Deadpool film, the second Deadpool film, as much as they are very funny films and don't take themselves too seriously, they still all have emotional weight to the film. The jokes don't land if there is no emotional weight at all. You know, you've got to go off something that is tangible, that is real. And Deadpool and Wolverine has a lot of real moments that you push the comedy aside. Some great dramatical moments. Hugh Jackman is so good as Wolverine again. Might be my second favorite performance from him. Of course, Logan being first. I don't think it. As someone who absolutely loves Logan, I don't think it disrespects Logan, but I also think it. I it will for some people, um, in moments, particularly in the first act. Um, but no, I had no issue with that. I had so much fun. Um, yeah, no. They didn't hold back, and I really enjoyed it. I do think Sean Levy should have not directed it as good as the directing was. Again, the visuals were just so flat a lot of the time. No way near as good as the first two films, especially the second film, which was done by David Leitch, David Leitch, 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 whatever. Um, that has that really nice neon look to it, uh, besides a few moments in Deadpool 2. Um, but no, great comedy. Great action, fun story, compelling arc. Yeah, had an absolute blast. When are you going to check out Deadpool Wolverine? If you have seen Deadpool and Wolverine, what did you think about it? Of course, no spoilers, because there's a lot of lot to spoil. My Instagram, Twitter, letterbox, don't both like 12 of them. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.